Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lavia. This is the Basketball Champions League. It's regular season Group A action, and it's Vince Bills taking on Nizhny Novgorod. Well, we've got a good one for you tonight, folks. Two teams right in the thick of it. Every game important, and Vince Bills looking uh, to see off the uh, Russian opposition tonight. There you see in Group A this week, Bambit have already won, as well as uh, MH Ruiz and Lewisburg getting their first win. City Gasavalina will be at Le Mans uh, also today. So congratulations to MHB Reason Lewisburg. It came uh, very late for them after five losses, but they finally uh, broke into the win column. And Nizhny Novgorod uh, trying to take a page out of MHB Reason Lewisburg's book. Uh, remember last year, MHB Reason made it through three qualifying rounds before making it to the final four. Nizhny Novgorod as well have come out of the qualifying rounds, all three of them. And here they are at two and three. Uh, currently in seventh place. Vince Bills, meanwhile, uh, one spot above them also at two and three. So you look at the roster of Nizhny Novgorod, Roderick Odom, Artem Komolov, Anton Astapkovich, Zbanov, Luzinski, Popov, Strebkov, Toropov. Uh, you have to talk about Cherapowitz, uh, the former Davidson College star and also uh, a vital member of that Sweden national team. He will uh, no doubt be a big player tonight uh, for them here in Vinchbills. And for Vinchbills, Usman Drame, number 23, Jonathan Arledge, those are the big boys inside, but keep an eye on Matas Gulbis, Aaron Johnson coming off a terrific uh, performance last week, Ingus Jakovic, uh, Rihars Lomas, those two are Latvian internationals. Uh, it's a very uh, talented team uh, that plays for Robert Stelmaher. And, uh, well, Vince Bills uh, in their third season in the Basketball Champions League and hoping uh, that they'll go uh, far, at least reach the playoffs, and then hopefully uh, uh, advance as deep as possible. But they've got a lot of work to do just to get into the playoffs. Uh, you have to get into that top five if you're going to, excuse me, that top four, if you're going to move on into uh, the round of 16. There's Orn Lukic, coach of Nizhny Novgorod. And I suppose what was interesting about their qualifying campaign, when you look back at it, uh, was how they had some close ones early on. Uh, they only won by one point at FC Porto, but then when they returned home, they just cruised to a 92-49 win. Then uh, they lost their first game in the second qualifying round to Aris, 65-63. Uh, but when they traveled to Greece, uh, they beat a team that had been in the Basketball Champions League a couple of seasons, 62-51. So they won that tie on aggregate. And then after getting on top of Pardubice uh, from the Czech Republic, 92-84 to in Russia, they traveled to the Czech Republic, and they won that one big, 85-57. to And Nizhny Novgorod, uh, perhaps their regular season record uh, would look a lot better, well it definitely would, had they not lost their first game at home to Sidigas Avellino after two overtimes, but they did lose that one uh, to 100, 193 despite 25 points and seven rebounds, uh, six assists from Kendrick Perry. Uh, the man of that game was Norris Cole, uh, and he ended up uh, being the, the MVP of the week. Nizhny followed that up with a 93-82 win at Anvil, uh, but then uh, they hosted Ukon Murthy and lost 72-51. And then they traveled to Turkey and lost 78-60 to Banvit. So they've been blown out a couple of times. Uh, however, uh, an encouraging sign last week when they hosted uh, Le Mans and won 85-71. to 
So they kind of uh, righted their ship and they would like nothing more now than to hit the road and get a good win here at a bench bills team uh, that from one week to the next you just don't know what you're going to get uh, Vince Bills a, a team that if you go through their results you saw their record they also are at two and three and uh, they lost heavily at home uh, to Anvil 99 to 78 and then they suffered only a six point defeat at Ukon Murthia uh, but then they knocked off Banvit. Now remember Banvit were big winners over Nizhny Novgorod. Uh, Vince Bills beat Banvit 86 to 80. Uh, but then curiously they lost at Le Mans 91 to 76. However, uh, Vince Bills became uh, the last of the teams to pile on the agony for MHP Reese and Lewisburg winning that one 93 to 92. That was also a game day five thriller and that one went to uh, one overtime. So Vince Bills uh, looking to get to 500 just like Nizhny Novgorod in the regular season and again both of these teams just trying to solidify their place and make sure they're in the reckoning uh, uh, for a top four finish uh, by the end of the regular season. So we've got a couple of Polish referees and a Swiss, Janusz Czalik, Sebastian uh, Klivals, and Mikhail Prok from Poland. So you've got those three guys ready to go, loosening up, last second uh, jockeying exercises. And we'll also get a look at the starting fives for both of these teams. I don't know about you, but this Basketball Champions League season uh, for me has just been 100% uh, entertaining. I mean, it's been fantastic. Nizhny Novgorod will start with Popov, Odom, Strebkov, Babarin, the veteran Russian international, and Kendrick Perry. Again, will start at point guard. So with Babarin and Perry, uh, you've actually got a couple of ball handlers in there. And I guess uh, Coach Lukic is uh, – Likes that, likes that backcourt to start the game, and we'll see how things develop uh, throughout. But it'd be surprising uh, not to see Cherapovitz uh, check into the game early. Oftentimes, it's not who starts, but who finishes. Cherapovitz, obviously not a point guard, uh, although he handles the ball uh, pretty well. And we'll get a look at the starting five for Vince Bills. So Aaron Johnson, Lomash, Gulbis, Arledge, and Drame. So Aaron Johnson uh, will have his hands full, and uh, Lomash clearly a, a two. Uh, Aaron Johnson, uh, more of the traditional point guard, looking to deal for Stelmahers.
Well, folks, it's quite amazing, really, when you think about it, that this we're, we're uh, only on game day six in the third season of the Basketball Champions League. It's already established as the second pan-European club competition based on the number of countries participating and the previous league positions of those participating teams. So welcome again to Vinspils Latvia. This is the start of the Basketball Champions League game between Vinspils and Nizhny Novgorod. And uh, an interesting start, to put it mildly, on the opening tip. Foul has been called on Aaron Johnson. Uh, for fouling Babarin. I know that, or was it a foul, in fact? I was just saying the ball. Well, Lukic frustrated with that opening sequence. No, a foul was not called. So, Vinspils now have it. Seemed like there had, had to be a call. That turnover was on Odom. And Gulbis gets inside. Drame was battling uh, Popov for the rebound, but Popov came down with it. This is Perry out to Strebkov. Babrin gets inside and posts, or passes rather to Popov, who goes up strong over Drame. So he's uh, won the early uh, confrontation there with Drame on both ends of the floor. Lomash takes a little contact, puts it up, but they are going to say the foul by Strebkov was before the shot. Hey, Lomash is a tough customer. Plays for Latvia's national team, has played in the World Cup qualifiers, the European qualifiers, Latvia, of course, five in three, and uh, you know, right in the thick of things, uh, hoping to get one of those 12 European spots for the World Cup. Here's Arledge, and and already uh, impressive play from Ilya Popov down low. Now he rolls, and the ball batted away, and good hustle there from Babarin to get it back. Drebkov, little fake. Puts it up off the rim. Aaron Johnson steals in there for the rebound, and he pushes it quickly. And he's going to go all the way. Oh, he misses the layup. Does all the hard work, but then missed the layup. And Kendrick Perry races to the other end and picks up the foul. Well, Johnson probably uh, smarting over that miss. The layup. Trebkov no look bounce pass was kicked by Drame. Delmahes looks on pensively. Second year at the helm of uh, in the basketball champions league of this this Bills team. Pop off. Well, we've seen what he's got inside. Not quite as good uh, with a jumper. Now, Drame trying to post up, and the pass from Arledge goes off the backboard. Bounce pass again from Strebkov, and this time Popoff puts it up and in. So a good start for Popov. Lomash for three. Good! And Vince Bills took two minutes and 20 seconds, but they have gotten on the board. Only one other early game uh, tonight. That's Opava at home in the Czech Republic to Tenerife, and Popov again does a little bit of wheeling and dealing down low. Six points for the big fella. And now Drame called for a foul over at the top of the key.
Zaka says, no problem, I've got this. Yeah, he was uh, called for the contact there with uh, Baverin. Perry from deep, and the ball bounces out to Odom. And now, again, it's uh, this time Popoff unsuccessful, but boy, looked like that was harder to miss the shot than to make it. He was right there. Johnson, oh, look at the beautiful penetration over to Lomas. He doesn't need any asking. He puts it up for his second three-pointer of the game. He is a cold-blooded killer from outside. And Popoff this time does hit it from about three meters. Lomash again. Three three-pointers for him in the first four minutes of the game. Odom back to Perry. So Vince Bills on the strength of Lomash and his three quick three-pointers have an early lead. And Popoff denied by Zakis, but gets it back. Saves it in bounds. And they reset the shot clock. Now Strebkov from deep. Zakis uh, misses down low. Now Odom and Gulbis with the rebound. And Zakas this time goes up for the two-handed jam. Oh, he brings out the gun show. We know you got some muscles. Look at this. He goes up. Shrebkov. And there's Popoff again. And Arledge this time denies him. And Zakas. Throws the ball off of Odom, goes over in the corner, and Vince Bills chases it down. Here's Lomash again. He's red hot. He's hit three in a row to start the game. Arledge goes to work on Odom. And Odom wins that battle, just takes it right away from him, like taking candy away from a baby. Kendrick Perry. And a foul called on Aaron Johnson. with the early lead, but Kendrick Perry at the line with a chance to uh, reduce the arrears to one point. Makes the first. And Kendrick Perry makes both. Gulbis has it. Gulbis takes the pass from Zakas, gets it back to Zakas, and Zakas was fouled from behind by Toropov, who's checked into the game for Popov. Love the expression on the face of uh, Lukic.
And Zakis this time makes the second free throw. Laos coming into the game for also uh, Jakovic makes his first entry. And that's Jakovic on, on Perry. Oh, and the little runner into the lane from Perry. Knots it at 12. Perry called for a foul on Lomash. Pass to Ingus Jakovic. Dribbles around. Oh, passes to Blaus. That was easy peasy. Bounce pass. And the finish. Easily there for. Uh, Sergei Toropov. Yakovic pulls up just at the free throw line. Perry flies in for the rebound. Quickly up ahead to the running Toropov, who shows his uh, pace, his uh, gait. And he, he, the Vince Bills defense down the floor. Yakovic now over to Lomash. Much taken on Toropov this time. Oh boy, he just took him right to the hoop. Didn't shy away from the big fella. Babarin goes baseline to Toropov, and he's fouled by Gulbis or Arledge. Foul was indeed on Gulbis. So Toropov is at the free throw line. Freyminus has checked into the game, number 17, and also Janis Berzinc. Number 31. Also, Anthony Bean, here he is. Framing us, and I think he's got a foul on Blouse. He's just cutting through the lane. Was indeed. So Nizhny with that early lead, but it's a close, it's a narrow one. And uh, shaking and baking Darren Govins now. And again, gets it to Toropov. And they're get, making the commitment to get the ball inside. And those high percentage shots are being converted uh, by first Popov and now Toropov. Bean wrapped up and jump ball. Good job by Odom. Some choice words from coach. 
to Vlaus as he comes out of the game now. Toropov comes out and Popov comes back into the game. So Zoran Lukas wanting to keep his bigs fresh. Here's Bean. Puts it up and off the back of the iron. Odom did a good job. He had bearing down on him, Robert Framenus. So we're in the final 30 seconds of a tight and very interesting first quarter here at Ventspils. Nizhny looking to extend the lead. And Framenus has the ball taken out of his hands. He tells the ref, I just, he just tells the ref, I got pushed. Johnson back in as well as Arledge. Brzezinski has now checked in as well as Zvadanov. We'll play with Toropov, Odom, and Babarin. Final 10 seconds of the first quarter and a foul was there to be uh, made by Zbaranov. So any more fouls and they're putting Vinchfields on the line. So that was a good job by Johnson. Odom putting the pressure on. Zbaranov as well. Here's Arledge. Looks like he's going to chuck it up. And he was fouled by Odom. Odom looks over at his coach and says, I didn't touch him. Don't yell at me. Here's Arledge, though. Boy, when, when he gets it going, he is a handful. But he has not gotten it going tonight. And the reason, uh, this imposing front line of Nizhny Novgorod. If it's not Toropov or Popov, it's the man guarding him, Odom. Always makes one of two, still a little bit of time. They're gonna have to chuck it from deep. Oh, well, almost went out of bounds and gave uh, Vince Peels another opportunity. So at the end of one, Nizhny Novgorod uh, lead it 19 to 17 at Vince Peels. Initially, you can see eight of 15 inside the arc, uh, perhaps symptomatic of uh, their strength. And then, of course, Vince Bills with those three made three pointers from Lomash. See the game, uh, you love that as a, as a coach, seeing your players diving on the floor for the loose ball. But look, look at Popov in there, really uh, quite physical. And you, the Vince Bills, uh, they need big performances tonight from Arledge. Uh, from Zakas, no doubt, uh, as well as Gulbis, uh, who in Drame. And so far, it is the bigs of Nizhny that are winning the game for them. Look, there is the gun show. We know, Ronalds, we know you got some muscles. No need to show us. And that was an impressive pass as well as uh, catch and run by running catch by Toropov. And Johnson, the point guard of Vince Bills, guarding Govins right now. And 
bounce pass goes out of bounds. It'll still be Nizhny ball. Because see, last week at MHT Reason Lewisburg, uh, Aaron Johnson had 17 points and 13 assists. Is by far his best game of the season. And good hustle that time by Bean. He's going to pull up and he's going to stroke it. Ties it at 19. Govins over to Odom, and Odom misses again. Totopov kept it alive. Back over to Vinchfields. Back into the game. Also, Stapkovic comes into the game for Nizhny. Johnson, well, it looked like he's going to make the alley oop, but Stapkovic uh, knocks it away. It says, not on my watch. Torapov catches, turns off. He has been impressive. Good start by him tonight. Nine points already. Jakovic, he will get a couple of free throws. Heard the whistle coming, or heard the whistle, so got into the shooting motion. Zinski. Comes out of the game. And finally, we see Chris Cherapowitz, who comes in number 35. And you're talking about a player that uh, has a lot of creativity. Which makes both free throws and ties it again at 21. Great start to the game here. Strepkov. And Stavkovic. So that's his first basket, and it's a First three pointer for Nizhny. Lomash drives in and Sarah Poets called for the foul. One of the great mysteries in basketball is how you can have such a great shooter uh, from three-point range go to the line and miss a free throw as badly as he missed it that first time. I'll never understand how that happens. In any event, he makes the second. And there, Aaron Johnson almost forced a turnover, but they got it over in time. Like winding down, Strepkov. Oh, a little bit of a Euro step, and then he drew a foul on Drame. No, it wasn't. He just a, a, a normal layup attempt. And definitely the foul caught committed by Drame. So 
Bean comes out. Berzins comes back into the game. And the free throw is good. Four point lead, Kendrick Perry. Lumash talking about his uh, free throw shooting. Came into the game shooting 76.9% at the free throw line. He hit 10 of 13 on the season. So it's not too shabby. But here he is putting up another three. And Drame, good job getting the board there. And decides to go right back up and puts it in. Stavkovich could do nothing with him. This is shading the rebounding right now. Uh, five of their 11 rebounds on the offensive glass. And good effort that time by Arledge. And disrupting Kotopov. Ball goes out of bounds. Bounce pass to Drame, gets in for the dunk. And full marks to Lomas recognizing uh, the double team. And just left Drame wide open. And now foul. Called against Nizhny. Into the corner, Bears inch. Stapkovich with the rebound. Turpo is saying, I need a touch, give it to me. And the ball on the ground, players fighting for it. Job by Drama there first, and then the foul called on Lomash. Popo back into the game. Stankovic, it's good. Well, Stavkovich drills it from deep and draws some applause from the coach. Better execution that time from Disney and brings a timeout from Vinchpils. So the early numbers here. Six of 12 for Vince Bills, nine of 17 for Nisby inside the arc. Vince Bills have those three low match threes. Fifteen points coming from the bench for Nisby. You heard <laughs> Lukic telling, I think it was a Stavkovich, in and out. You throw, it in, you throw it in and you throw it back out. Don't just stand there and hold it and wonder what you're doing with it.
Sure of Poets. Sure of Poets saying, yeah, that's right. If I'm out, make sure if it goes in, it comes back out. Aaron Johnson brings it forward. And Popoff this time called for the foul. Well, they got one called almost in that exact spot earlier in the first quarter. An offensive foul. Johnson takes the blow. Gulbis. Lomash puts it up. Short that time. And the kicking uh, by Drame. I'll put 14 on it. On the shot clock. So Drame is going to take a seat. Popov has it, goes up with the left hand, misses badly. Zakis with the rebound. Zakis hands it off to Berzinc. And front and back of the rim and stays out. Trebkov just inside the arc puts it up and good rebound from Bears and a quick outlet pass now to two on one break Johnson and Kendrick Perry saw the pass and was able to get a hand on it. is back in the game. He drives hard to the basket and tries to hand it off to Zakas, but Nizhny were waiting for it. And look at Perry explode down the lane, but doesn't make the shot. Nevertheless, the offensive rebound taken by Chera Poets. And then inside, Strepkov gets his own miss. Nizhny doing everything right except scoring on this trip down the floor. And in the end, they turned the ball over. So the foul called on Popov. Second foul on him. Strapkov comes out. I'll tell you, Lukic uh, doesn't take any seconds off, does he? He's about as intense as they come over there on the Nizhny bench. Gulbis for three and a hand in the face. I think somebody blocked it. Maybe it was Perry. Three-point lead for Nizhny. And again, Adapkovic got it down low. Nizhny doing a great job of getting some looks, and finally, Cherapovic puts it in. Boy, they are absolutely pounding it inside. And finally, uh, Cherapovic uh, able to lift it up over the rim and put it in for his first two points of the game. Vince Bills burn another timeout, trailing by five.
13 second chance points for Nizhny Novgorod. Write that down, folks. That is a big number. Somebody's got to go to work on the glass. We talked about it, but from the very beginning, they've been very assertive. Eighteen points in the paint as well for Nizhny. being checked back into the game. 2.52 remaining in the first half. A battle of two, two and three teams. Bean, who's just checked in, brings a little firepower, puts it up. Too long and Perry, who's been very active, comes down with the rebound. Jared Poet backs up Gulbis. Lee puts it up and in. Biggest lead of the game, 33-26. Off the back of the rim. And good rebound by Anton Ostapkovic. Now drifting in, and the basket is good by Ode or by Govins. Darren Govins. Yakovich for three. Well, that was uh, getting close to desperation time there for some points for Vinch Bills. Perry, another three pointer for Nizhny. And that's got to hurt Vince Bills just after they make a three to see Nizhny go down and hit a three. Yankovic drives in, tough move, but not for the first time tonight. Uh, Vince Bills missed a layup. Cherapovic inside, Popov gets the foul called on Zakis. No gun show this time. So Popov goes to the line with uh, his eight points. You see his four of ten. He started really well. He's not been quite as good in the second quarter. And a little bit of a reprieve uh, for Vinch Bills. And they, they got some work to do. They got to figure out a few things. I think at halftime, 44.6 seconds remaining before they go to the break. Second one is good from Popov. So, 10 point lead, the biggest of the contest. Lomash gets it to Zakis and ball fumbled out of bounds with 27 seconds on the clock.
So Nizhny called the timeout to try to draw up a play here. Get some points here before the break. Look at that. 12 of 26 inside the arc for Nizhny. Thirteen assists for Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod almost double that number of for Vincefields. So 27.3 seconds remaining here in the first half. And Nizhny Novgorod looking to uh, add to their largest lead of the game. Lukic over there on in front of the bench uh, like a chess master making all of his moves as he's drawn them up. Making sure the players execute. Shot clock winding down. And Lomash called for the foul. 4.1 seconds remaining. So that's a curious foul. Well, no, excuse me, that was his second. I thought he had three. So. And I think the execution was there until the very end. Lukic was uh, not entirely happy uh, with the lack of movement. Somebody didn't move into the right spot. for the visitors tonight who have just been superior. Uh, interesting hairstyle tonight. This is raining outside perhaps. I'm not sure. So Stavkovic at the line, uh, looking to uh, catch the inbounds pass. Who will get it? Babarin, 4.1 seconds remains. As Totopov hands it off to Perry, who gets into the lane, almost. I'll tell you what, that was a well drawn up play. 39-29, Nizhny Novgorod on top of Vince Bills at halftime. Well, the numbers uh, 12 to 27 will be interesting to see the rebounding. Look at the rebounding. Du more than, no, it is double, in fact. And Nizhny have nine offensive rebounds, just one for Vince Bills. Defensively, they've effectively shut down Lomash after that early scoring burst. And right now, uh, it's hard to see Vince Bills winning this game as long as Nizhny uh, Play this physical brand of ball, getting the ball down low. Lamash has the 12 points you saw. Lead off scores. Popov and uh, Torpov each with nine points. So here's some of the highlights. 
And you'll see that Nizhny got out to a good start. Benchfield's got after him, but the level of intensity was a little bit higher over there on the, on the bench of uh, the team wearing the black uniforms tonight. And they are impressive. So at halftime, Vince Bills down 10 and with a lot of work to do. We'll see what they do at the, at the, uh, at the break, and we'll be right back. Oh. 
As Arn Lukic is his uh, Nizhny Novgorod team on top here. I wouldn't say they're completely in command, but they are so far impressive tonight. And you have to wonder how they haven't won more than two games. Uh, they're on top 39-29 at Vinceville's uh, just absolutely superior inside. Uh, they've more than doubled up their opponents on the boards. And uh, really pounding the offensive glass. And there's the Vinceville's brain trust. Uh, they're going to have to come up with something uh, to combat uh, that interior play of Nizhny Novgorod and also Kendrick Perry doing a great job on the outside of running the show as, as well as Trebkov. Novgorod last week uh, in their 85 71 win over Le Mans. They got on top 20 to 12 after the first quarter. They extended that to 45 to 34 at halftime, and it was game over. They just pulled away uh, in the third quarter, outscoring Le Mans 22. Well, excuse me, they outscored them 22 to 20. And then 18 to 17 in the fourth quarter. But once they got their noses in front, they were uh, tough customers. So worrying uh, for Vinceville's. Vinceville's need to come out. You would think, give themselves a chance here with a strong start to the third quarter, where this thing could be over quickly. Where he didn't play last week. Uh, Strepkov played almost 28 minutes and had 15 points and nine assists. Very good game, the, the, the highest rated player. To be the man that picks things up for Vince Bills. Clearly, he's one of them anyway. He's got one point, he's taken one shot, he's got two rebounds, and he's played 16 minutes. He's just had no room. He's got two turnovers. And there have been times when I've watched him play this season when he's been the best player on the court, so they have completely shut him down. He starts the second half, folks. Welcome back to Vince Bills. And Strepkov starts along uh, with Kendrick Perry. Gulbis puts up a jumper. And Odom uh, goes up for the rebound. Arledge uh, cries out like he was pushed off. Now the pass down low to Popoff. And Arledge this time says, get it out of here. Good sign for Vinch Bills. Lomas tries to make the bounce pass to Drame, but it was read well by Nizhny. Entry pass. Seconds on the shot clock. He just does not take a playoff, does he? Lukic. He is as intense as they come. Tell my house uh, standing there and concerned looks, to put it mildly.
Johnson gets in, takes a very tough shot. And Perry now brings it forward. Remember, Johnson had that outstanding game last week. Cherapowitz gets inside, puts it up and in. Here it is again, Cherapowitz. His dad's the coach. I guess he's watching back in Sweden. And here's another one from Johnson. The three-pointer is good. Cherapovitz backing up Gulbis now. He's going to take him. Little jump hook. Rami with the rebound. And Arledge was held by Odom. Played his college basketball at Vanderbilt, Tennessee, SEC school. Now, Drame on the baseline. It's going to help if they can make some shots, that's for sure. Get it back to seven. But this is where they have to win the game. They've got to win it on the defensive end. And Popov catches it and puts it up and in. Johnson gets in the lane, lays it up and in. He's uh, becoming active. See him with the three, and now he goes past Chair Povitz. Now Perry says, anything you can do, I can do better. Lays it up and in. Johnson again. This time, this is an easy one. Drebkov just behind the stripe, and he was fouled. So Drame is going to go to the bench after picking up his third foul. You don't want to foul the jump shooter, that's for sure. Now Toropov is going to come in. Trofkov makes the first. So Blaus comes in for Drame. Popov goes out and Torpov comes in. There's been no drop off whatsoever in the bigs uh, for Nizhny Novgorod, who now are on top by 11 points. Johnson, he's already hit one from deep. But uh, misses with that attempt. Now Strepkov. Alley oop. Oh, looked like it was a pass come shot. Lomash to Arledge. Gonna go right at Odom. And banks it in. Definitely contact in there. Arledge thinking. Well. I guess uh, refs know best. They didn't see anything there. Now, Strebkov kind of leans into it and hits the jumper. Like I said, he was extremely tough as well last week for Nizhny in that win over Le Mans, and he has been tough tonight. Johnson. And gets the foul called on Perry. Oh. 
pretty decent position there by Perry. I, I like his game. I mean, he just kind of, you can see he's not get, not engaged in any type of trash talk. He's just going out and he's playing basketball. He's playing his game. Marlich comes out. Freminus comes into the game. Rapovis guarding uh, Maris Gulbis. Johnson. Again, looks to go inside. Torpov blocks his path. Gulbis gets inside and he draws the foul from Torpov. So on Luke, it says, like I tell you, We've got to squeeze them. Otherwise, well, I'm not exactly sure what he was saying there, but clearly, uh, Golbus now with a chance to get it back to eight. Off again, out to Odom, and Aaron Johnson reaches in and commits the foul. Here above it. Takes the bump, back outside, and instead of going for it, Lomash lets it go, and then Strebkov doesn't go for it, and Zoran Lukic says, why didn't you go for it? So Babarin's going to come in, I think, for Strebkov. That was going to be for Cherpovitz. So a little bit of confusion with the play, I take it. Johnson, and again, another foul called. A foul called on Perry. So he gets a couple of fouls called on Perry here in the quarter. And Goldbus goes out. So Johnson is, you got to like his work rate. I mean, he is out there hustling. Certainly offensively trying to make something happen. Now, Zoran Lukic has uh, taken uh, Kendrick Perry to task. And that defense. Both free throws good by Johnson. Darren Govins, meanwhile, comes into the game for Perry. Torpov he got a little bit confused. Didn't know what he was doing. Puts up a jumper. Laos from behind on Odom. Odom, good job boxing out. Popov turns, puts it up. Look at that. Gets his own miss. It's not pretty, but it's effective, folks. Johnson pulls up from deep. Off the front of the rim. And good hustle from Yakovic, but he can't chase it down. So 
Levine now comes back into the game for Vinchfields. Just that element of uh, being where they're supposed to be, that intensity, that physicality uh, that Nizhny seemed to be bringing tonight. They just have that little bit more, seem to have that little bit more toughness. Here, especially this guy. Look at him. Like a bull in a china shop. Passes it out to Babarin. Three pointers good. Eleven points, the advantage. So Vince Bills called timeout. Still not making any inroads. They got it down to six and they had a shot, but they missed and now Nizhny have opened up an 11 point lead again. Look at the rebounding. That is a huge part of this. Second chance points, and obviously that's from that uh, incredibly uh, big rebounding advantage tonight. Thirty points in the paint for Nizhny. They've got 23 points from the bench to just 12 for bench bills. They've got 10 offensive rebounds compared to just one offensive rebound for Vince Bills. They've got 10 offensive rebounds. Vince Bills has 12 defensive rebounds. So they're almost matching Vince Bills on the boards, on those boards. Yakovic gets in, takes a very tough shot. Gets it back to single digits, the deficit. Strebkov. He has been impressive. A foul has been called on Nizhny. Hold. Yeah, the foul was called on uh, that man there, Popov. So he's got three fouls, but now they've got to contend with Toropov and Odom. If they could get Popov and Toropov in foul trouble, then they might, you might see a, a, a change in momentum. And Yakovic again goes hard to the basket and gets the foul called on Strebkov. And remember that is coming out of the timeout. Aggressive uh, play by Yakovic getting hard to the basket, going, trying to get to the rim, trying to at least get fouled. He looks a little bit annoyed that he hasn't been in the game longer, to be honest. So Yakov is trying to give a lift. And he now has nine points. So he's up amongst his uh, team leaders in scoring. And now the turnover, Yakovic, man of the moment, puts it up and in. Back to a five-point deficit. Talk about a spark. And we were talking about points from the bench. And that is just tenacious defense. Look at that, just takes it right away from Strebkov and goes in hard and forces Lukic to call timeout. Lukic is not a happy coach. <laughs> now nine assists for Vince Bills, 15 from this team. She 
shooting numbers. Uh, still better for Nizhny overall in terms of makes. How far have they come today? Well, Nizhny Novgorod is it's a big city on the Volga River in western Russia. And it's got a 16th century Kremlin that is ringed by 13 fortified towers, including Dimitrovskaya Tower. So if you ever go to Russia, you might want to go pay to visit. More interesting facts about it that I'll tell you about in a second. Here they are. Stankovic now down low, and Protopov has the ball go through his legs. So the opportunity is here. Johnson to Drame. Drame gets it back. Goes up, and he dunks it. Boy, there were a couple of chances there for him to turn it over, and he just did not give it up. And now Yakovic called for the foul on Perry. Well, full marks of Vinsfields. They've been able to turn up their intensity a notch, led by that man right there, Yakovic, who picks up his first, the young Latvia international. He has 11 points and an assist and a steal. And the handoff and the steal, Anthony Bean, who's in the game. And he has the ball knocked out of his hands by Babarin. And then he isn't able to get it to his teammate. Good hands, quick hands for Nizhny. Now Perry drives in and misses. But Todopov was able to get a hand on it and knock it out. So missed opportunity there for Vinchbills. You simply have to give everything on every play against this Nizhny team. And Perry, oh goodness me, Perry drills the three. That's what second effort does for you, folks. Back to a six-point lead. It was all because of the hard work from Toropov to bat that rebound out to the perimeter. And they got another shot. And the pass, Aaron Johnson gets it back. Doesn't go in. Stapkovich. And now Nizhny come back. Final minutes of the third quarter. Perry pulls up a meter behind the arc. Long rebound, and Johnson alertly gets it to Bean, goes behind his back, and decides to hold it up. Johnson over to Yakovic for three. Go! He has been a star in the third quarter, folks. Vince Bills are in this game right now because of that man, Ingus Yakovic. Playing with a steely determination, coming off the bench and telling his teammates, jump on my back, I'm gonna bring us back. He's now got 14 points. What a gritty performance from Yakovic. Final eight seconds, ticking off the clock here in the third quarter. Perry, and Yakovic had a foul to give, so he gives it. There's 2.8 seconds left now. Boy, he is tough. I've gained new respect for him tonight, the way he has approached this third quarter. I'm sure he's raising eyebrows. Tough assignment for him as well, having to guard Perry. Lomash also in, guarding Govins. Perry takes a long three. And I tell you, if the rest of the Vinchfields players were playing as hard as Yakovic right now, they would be in the lead. As it is, Nizhny are on top, 57-54. Can they hold on? We've got 10 minutes remaining. Those are the shooting numbers. A little bit better 
now for Vince Bills. There's Drami as well, who uh, came in and gave a lift. Got that early block, and I've got no problems with the effort of Johnson either tonight. He's been uh, he's been working exceptionally hard. Uh, but sometimes you got to you know you get hit in the mouth. You know how are you going to respond? And Ingus Yakovis has literally been hit in the mouth a couple of times tonight. And he is uh, not letting it slow him down in the slightest. He is coming out and playing hard. Here he is again on the break after the steal. Inspirational stuff. Guessing he'll go as, he'll, as long as he can last out there. Stays in the game. He's now guarding Strebkov. Strebkov pulls up at the line. Oh, he's tough, folks. Second week in a row, Shrebkov had a nice game. That said, hasn't shot it as well tonight. Arledge for three. Well, Bean didn't have anybody to throw the ball to. Kovins over to Tortopov. Here's Trepkov again. Cross. Sakovic. And Freymanis goes off. Keeps Stapkovic off the boards. So Trepkov looks like he's played actually better than his numbers indicate. He's got eight points, but on two of seven shooting from the floor. Now the pass to Arledge goes off for the jam. The jam. Look at this. Back to a three-point game. Govins pulls up for three. Good. Well, that was a tough shot from Govins. Takes it back to a six-point advantage. Lomash. Oh. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Arledge not realizing the ball was coming to him. Strebkov, that's his shot. And he hits another one and it's back to eight. Playing from behind can be so tough. You get so close. And then just a couple baskets, just like that, you're back down by eight. Lomash. Oh, it takes the contact, puts it up, and earns a trip to the line. Another foul on Toropov. So, four fouls on Toropov. So, presumably, we're going to see uh, coming back into the game, Popov. No, he's going to he's going to stay with Toropov. Lomash makes the first. Lomash hasn't scored a lot in the second half. In fact, that's his first point of the second half. 12 of his 13 points have come in the first half. Now he's got 14. He and Yakovic are, are leading the way with 14 apiece, the two young Latvia internationals. That's one bright spot for Latvia basketball fans. Seeing these guys perform at a high level tonight. 
Go to Bob. And the ball taken away. Govins couldn't handle it. Johnson. And then the foul by Babarin. Second foul, Nizhny. Lukic having a go at Kotopov now. Here is again, Yakovic bounce pass, all threw it behind Gulbis. Ill advised that time. Six points. Odom gets it in the lane. Little jump hook is good. That's it, eight points. They are not wilting at all, are they? They are just as tough now as they have been from the, from the get-go. Nizhny Novgorod coming out here really focused tonight and concentrated. Johnson hands it off. Gulbis. Oh, no, Freyminus misses the layup. Strepkov, you know he wants to pull up right there, and that's his shot, and he hits it again. How many times? It's an interesting looking shot, isn't it? He leans into it every single time. And now Strebkov takes the lead back to 10 with a little jump push shot almost from uh, right at, at the charity strike. He's got 12 points, four of nine from the floor. He also has seven assists. So between Strebkov and Perry, uh, he's got a tough, tough backcourt. Each team with six makes from deep. Lomash at the line right out of the timeout and gets it back to eight points. Odom, he gets inside and Drame gets the rebound, hands it off to Johnson. Bean. And I don't know if that was a. Well, it's a pass, obviously, to Drame, but they didn't communicate it well. They picked up Strebkov that time, and Govins has it. And the drive. Oh, and they're going to get a three-point play opportunity for Odom. Not too much contact there. Four fouls on Drame. He goes back to 11. And the drive, and again, oh, tough move, but doesn't finish. Lomash. Here's Trebkov, and his pass this time stopped or batted by Lomash. 
Govins gets it in, misses badly. And then Odom called for the push. Colleague Igor Churkovich telling me we shouldn't really be surprised by the play of Strebkov. He had 25 points and nine assists over the weekend against Astana in the VTB League. And now a foul called. On oh, Babarin. Yeah, that's uh, that's a foul, Yevgeny. And of course, he had that tough game as well last week in the 85-71 win over Lamont Strebkov. It was a drama make in the first. Finished with 15 points, nine assists, three steals. So very quietly, one of the uh, it could be one of the one of the top point guards in the basketball champions league. Maybe he doesn't get some of the, the ink, the column inches that he deserves. Now they've got Perry and Strebkoff in the game. Here's Strebkoff at midcourt. Strebkoff over to Perry. Wide open. And boy, Odom is absolutely a beast on the offensive boards. Look at this. Odom with five rebounds. Here he is again. And that time takes a bump and there's another trip to the line. Nope. Sorry, they're not in the. Uh, Need a couple more fouls before they go to the line, but Arledge picks up his second. Arledge five points, four rebounds, a steal and a block, but hasn't been his best game tonight. And also, Zakas has been a non-factor really for Vinchbills. Kendrick Perry. Gets inside, and Golbus fouls him. Oh, foul called on Yakovic there. 71-62. A little bit of a reprieve. But with four minutes and 20 seconds left, uh, Vince Bills, you, you wonder the way Ni Nizhny have responded here if, if, uh, if Vince Bills are going to have another run in them. All my hairs. With that serious look. And now, who's going to take the shots? Who are they going to going to be with the penetration from Johnson? Here he is. Bounce pass. And then the quick hands by uh, number eight, Stavkovich, forces the turnover. So that was the right idea. But the turnover. Golbus has been anonymous tonight. Quick pass to Odom. Turns, misses. Now the handoff to Johnson. He's going all the way, puts it up and in. He says, I'm not taking any chances with this. Strebkoff 
Uh-oh, he's open. Is that his range? That's his range there. But he passes back to Babrin and stays out. Stroke of good fortune for Vince Bills. Back to Lomash. Inside to Gulbis. Gulbis goes right at Odom. And that's free throws for Gulbis. They'll take that. Oh, yeah. No question about it. Gorbis takes his time. He's got five points. Very quiet night for him. Player having played 23 minutes. And makes the second as well. Well, it's not over yet, folks. Six point game, three minutes remaining, but it's you gotta get stops and you gotta get defensive rebounds. And that has been tough to do today against this Nizhny Novgorod team. Here's Perry. Perry drives in. Oh, tough. Back to eight points now with 2.40 remaining. Into Arledge. Goes to work on the Stapkovich. Takes the bump. And free throws coming for Arledge. That's a good call by the ref. He slid in. Ref's not going to have any of that. So Arledge uh, with uh, five points goes to the line. So he's got both Toropov out as well as Dostoevsky Novgorod as well as Popov. And it's going really with a, a quicker team, perhaps, with the Stapkovich out there. Six point game. Again, they need to stop. Last time it was this man to beat him on the dribble with the layup. Now Odom. If you're Arledge, you just let Odom alone out there. Surely. Oh, the bounce pass. They get it. Stapkovich. Living dangerously. Vince Bills. Lomash. Oh, look at the shaking in the bacon. And Johnson earns another trip to the free throw line with 159 remaining. Well, he's been terrific. Foul called on Perry. That's number three. And gets it back to five. I almost wonder if they made one pass too many at the other end on their previous possession, Nizhny. Stapkovich was open for the three pointer. And now it's a four point game. Well, who knows? Stapkovich goes all the way, lays it up and in. Oh boy, that is a heartbreaker for Vince Bills. Yakovich hands it off to Johnson. Clock is about to become the enemy here for Vince Bills and a foul called. So free throw is coming. Foul called on Babarin for the reach. One thing they've done well tonight is uh, shoot free throws. Arledge now with eight points. Oh, 
Ooh, only makes one of two, but good job from Gulbis to bat it out. It could be a three-point trip down the floor, maybe even a four-point trip. And it's going to be Lomash again. And good hand. Boy, Stopkovich is tough defensively, isn't he? Reaches in, gets a hand on the ball. Watch this. No, it was Odom, in fact, who got the hand on the ball. Coach, you've got to play it for 40 minutes. You know it. The players know it. This Vince Bills team has refused to go away. Full marks to them. In the third quarter, it was really Jakovic that brought them back. And in the fourth quarter, Johnson has been terrific. And the effort has been contagious uh, with uh, the other guys. Lomash has come out, Gulbis, Arledge. Odom, Totopov, Popov, and Babarin uh, with the foul trouble for Nizhny. And if the game were to go to overtime, that could become a factor, obviously. And don't forget, Nizhny lost that double overtime game at the start of the season to Sivigas Savalino. And gets it to Lomash. They left him open. Oh, I thought he had it. And that time Odom cleared out a little bit. Might have been fortunate to get away with uh, not having this fifth foul called on him. Five point lead. Strepkov over to Odom. He just lost it. General manager of this uh, Nizhny Novgorod team, Sergei Panov, knows what he's doing. Panov, of course, that former Russian international, famously took the ball the length of the court in the 98 World Championship. Against the USA and beat them at the end. And that time the drive and the foul on Babarin. So another chance for Johnson with the clock stop to cut into the lead. And no doubt about it, the foul was committed. This Nizhny Novgorod team was so good, so focused, so dominant, really, for such a long part of this game. And yet, here they are, Finch Bills, uh, pulling to within four points. And now three, just refusing. Refusing to, lo to lose. Johnson really willing him back now. Really carrying the load. Johnson now with 13 points. Perfect six of six at the free throw line. Bench bills are 23 of 27 at the charity strike. Perry. 45 seconds to go in the game. Drives into the paint. Puts it up and in. Man, he is tough. It's the second time this quarter where we've seen Perry put the ball on the floor and go hard to the basket. It's what you call a layup dagger. Gulbis now with three fouls. Seventeen points for Perry. Oh, doesn't make the free throw. Could have been more damage. Now Johnson, he's going to go hard to the basket and put it up and in. He gets the two right back. Boy, he has been terrific, folks. What a performance from Johnson. He's really been a leader in this fourth quarter. And they do get it over just in the nick of time. With about a second to spare. Now Perry has it. And if they get a stop, 
and get the ball. Don't be surprised if Nizhny Novgorod commit a foul. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Here's Perry. Drives in for the dog. Goodness me. He may have just iced it with that drive to the basket in the left-handed dunk. Lomash for three. What a way to seal a victory. Kendrick Perry just says, I'm taking this one to the rack, baby. 80 to 75, Nizhny Novgorod win it at Vinchfields. <laughs> Perry Dagger Dunk. Woo! He put on a show in the fourth quarter. And you see the numbers. It was impressive. 19 points in the end for Kendrick Perry. As well, he had four rebounds. So Nizhny shoot 53% inside the arc. They have six threes, 10 of 14. Uh, the rebounding for most of the game really was their forte. There's 12 offensive rebounds. They overcame the 15 turnovers. And even Govins is impressed by that dunk by Perry at the end of the game. That could be the play of the week. And all you can do if you're this Benchfields team, you look at the numbers there, Lomash 16 points, Arledge, Johnson. You can't wait till the second half, folks, to get going. You've got to be going from the beginning. Babern with three steals in the end, quietly uh, leading them in steals. And they're the leading scores. Yakovich 14, Johnson had the 15, and Lomash uh, led the scoring. For Latvia, but 19 for Kendrick Perry. Uh, Strebkov had 12. Popov had 13. And just a great game of basketball, folks, in the Basketball Champions League tonight. And there's uh, the daughter, I take it, of one of the players watching uh, Papa do some stretching. So. In a battle of two and three teams, uh, it is Nizhny Novgorod that went in 80 to 75. And Perry, that was one of his uh, important drives that he made to the basket. He was seven of 14 from the floor, five of eight inside the arc. And boy, he had some tough drives that he made at the end. This was the, the problem that Vince Bills had at the beginning uh, was the play of Popov. And of course, Yakovic, don't forget how he came back in that third quarter, got that steal, fast break. Just really said, we're gonna come back, folks. Let's do it right now. And Drame got in on the act a little bit. And of course, Johnson really picked up his game, especially in the fourth quarter. And even though they lost, I think the fans probably got their got their money's worth tonight. That was a great game of basketball. Arledge had the two-handed jam. But you know, from Arledge's standpoint, they just need more from him than they got. They got eight points and five rebounds from him tonight, a steal and a block. But he's capable. Really, the, the energy, the constant effort from Odom tonight really stood out. Here he is again. It's incredible to think that Odom only had five points and five rebounds. And a steal because he he was active. Stavkovic as well, the eight points, four rebounds, uh, played very well. Johnson, again, uh, with his driving ability, his, you know, just kind of took matters into his own hands to help help his team stay in the game in the fourth quarter but it's ultimately they did they weren't able to stop Perry two crucial drives from him this was one of them he did not make the free throw on that play but then he had the dunk at the end that is going to be one of the highlights of the season look at this this is how I'm going to finish things off he went right past Arledge a little bit of a mismatch he had the explosiveness and maybe he'll get a bonus for that because that was uh, 
That was impressive. And even Govins, look at that. He says, whoo hoo, what a play. So the Group A standings after that, see Nizhny Novgorod climb into fourth place at three and three. And now Vince Bills two and four down in sixth. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. One last time as Nizhny, Nizhny Novgorod winning it 80 to 75. They're going to have a fun trip back to Russia after this one. Thanks for watching.